Well, greetings again. This is Dr. Bill White here in beautiful Glen Rose, Texas, and I'm going to be talking to you some this morning about adult orthodontics. And in some cases, not only just some, but many of them that we did, we could do them faster than we could do children's orthodontics. And there are a lot of children orthodontics where you have to start something real young and you wait or you do one thing and then there'll be another thing go wrong and another thing. And I've had uh, pediatric or children's orthodontics that took six and seven and eight years to do uh, because you're waiting on teeth to erupt into the mouth. And we don't have that problem with adults. And so you can start in many adult cases we do in less time than it would in children's cases. And if you, you just have to think about what you're doing here, and a lot of times you work with uh, someone else that might do restorative dentistry, and that's kind of what we did on this particular case right here. So let's get started, and I'm going to show you some adult orthodontics, and we're really pushing that the university trained orthodontist ought to be the one doing the adult orthodontics. And you can do the children's if you get it, but just take everything that comes across the board. And you do can do many of them in less time than it takes adults. And the, the charge should be separate so that you are getting paid for what you do at the time and all this. So this is what I do. I have a certain price that you do orthodontics for is ridiculous. We ought to set a price for everything by what you have to do in that case. So let's get going on this, and uh, I'll show this. Uh, let me get a little deal going. A real nice guy. I mean, and the the world is full of adults that would be happy to pay for orthodontics to get their teeth straightened up. Now this guy has a close bite, and the, the, this is a tick picture, I think, after we took finished the case. Uh, but anyway, he has a close bite, and you don't see, you didn't see his uh, permanent teeth. Let me go back here, and, and we'll get that. Okay. Now, the closed bite, where you don't see the, the bottom teeth. Now, that, to be there, the bite, the bite had to be way back in the back. And in his youth, his earlier days, he lost several of his teeth back in the back of the mouth. And now we want to open this up and bring him, uh, bring him forward in that position. So you can do that. This is how... This is how we d we did this. You work with somebody that's a uh, restorative person. And you're making you got to make this partial over again. We made a temporary partial here for him to wear. Just had a, uh, or else we use the one he had. We add a top to it to level it all out. And you'll notice this is the whole deal is kind of turned like that a little bit. A little bit, so you got to uh, think about correcting that to some extent. And now on the bottom, we had a big gap over here. There's leaning in there, and had no teeth back on, on this side. And we had a partial that just had a bar going around in here. And we took that partial and added acrylic to it to build it up. Here's the bar on the partials around like that. And we just added uh, added acrylic to this to build this up. Now, looking at it from the inside, the lower teeth went way up in like this. Now this, you look at that and say, well, the guy could eat that way. But when you have a closed bite, you cannot move your jaw back and forth and chew like this, it just doesn't work. You've got teeth too long there in the front, and so you do 
most of your chew is just straight up and down, kind of like the dog chews. But if you need to, to grind your teeth to get to eat better and grind the food up better, it's about four times better to slide your teeth from side to side as it is uh, just to chew straight down. And you can't do that when you got your, t your bottom teeth right up here in the roof of the mouth like that. So you're going to have to level that out. So we do that. But, and you think, well, this is just impossible to do, but it's not. I mean, you can get in and you can learn how to do adult orthodontics and you can do it as faster, faster than kids. They, they do what you want to do and they're paying for it and they'll cooperate better than children do in many, many cases. Now you see the cuspid went down in the wrong place. It needs to go down here. This is the bite's closed and he's got an overjet and overbite uh, that's way too much. Now this overbite, when you go out like that and bite together, of course there's nothing touches except the anterior parts and then it, the condyles will come down on the eminence back here and the back teeth don't touch at all and that's the way it's supposed to be but that's not the way you want this to be. So let's go now to another deal here. This cuspid is coming down here and we need it to come down in that spot and so to do that we're going to have to open the bite to do it. So when you look at it with a cephalometric, I mean a panorex right like this, you can see his upper teeth come down to there and the bottom teeth come up to there. And I, when I'm doing orthodontics here, you like to take the, the panorex with a person biting their teeth together like they do. And that gives you, you can see how much overjet and overbite and everything else on the, 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 the depth of the bite shows up really good. And then you can tell you not to, let's go try to straighten that tooth up a little bit and bring it forward. Now this guy is 49, he's almost 50 years old. And so time we get through him, he'll be 50. Uh, years of age. So here we <coughs> come in the way we level this bite out. We put an intruding arch in here which went way up like that. We brought it down and hooked it on top of another arch wire that ran inside here. These are little wedges we used to uh, rotate these teeth correctly in here. And these are little narrow teeth teeth and you've got a long space in between that you can work on the teeth uh, and work on the arch and put more bend in the arch wire and it'll still work. Down here we had to come in and drop down and come back up on the back tooth and here we added to the uh, partial that the guy is, is wearing to give him some bite back there. And we put a bite plate in the front part of the mouth out here. That's what you can do with these blocks. And that put a lot of force on these teeth to intrude them. At the same time, we're letting the posterior teeth come into the mouth further. You have to be careful back in here putting that much load on the temporal mandibular joint. But if somebody's got good joints, you can put that in and get this might to level out. All right, so we got two two arches in here. You see this arch went up like this. We brought it down and hooked to these teeth. So it's pushing these teeth up and pushing these teeth down at the same time. And we put this pad down here. I didn't put a, an intruding arch on the bottom, but this pushes down. And so we level the teeth out in that fashion. Now let's go on to another. Now looking over here, we took and added some acrylic to that partial so we could bring it up. We want to level this out. So with this to go back, so we'll be going straight in here. 
and then straight across the front of the mouth right here. Now this takes a little ingenuity and a little thought on the way of the person doing this. But this is why I say adult orthodontics ought to be taught in the universities and they ought to be the leading people doing this adult orthodontics and do the children's or whatever is easy stuff, whatever you get, but just don't turn the adults down. And once you get doing the adult orthodontics, people will know you can do it and they come to you and you, we would have more orthodontics than you can possibly do. And you can charge a, a, a larger fee for adult orthodontics and do it better. So this is what I want to happen. And so I'm going to keep hounding at the last breath I have. Now there we're biting on the upper t teeth. We put that bonding material uh, well, uh, on the upper teeth and you're biting down. That's intruding those teeth more. And now we've got that kind of partial that he had and I added acrylic to it in both areas back here where we chew on that and we level that out and when we got it down level we came back and you see now we've taken this extra arch wire out of the top and we've got these teeth that were down here somewhere they're up here and these are down and we've got a, a, a normal over jet and overbite and that's what you need you want just enough so that you can reach out here and bite something off with your front teeth and your back teeth shouldn't touch at all and you'd like to be able to slide over here and chew on the left side and the right teeth don't touch simply because you move the jaw over and the condyle appears on on the eminence of this fossa and that separates the teeth here and your condyles, you'll notice, are not regular balls, they're kind of oblong, and your jaw is free where you can slide from side to side. You can chew on one side or the other, or chew on the front teeth, and the other teeth don't touch. But when you bite on the front teeth out here, there's nothing touches but these teeth, and the head of the condyle is on the fossa and on that disc. And that takes a lot of load like that. All right, you need to know that. If you, uh, I know I've repeated it over and over. Now we brought these cuspids out where they're fitting in the cuspid position, right like that. And now we'll have to ha have your uh, your restorative dentist go ahead and make the partial over again. In other words, you're going to do a re. Uh, remake of the partial. And now we'll bring these others back. Now these, this cuspid's coming down in the point two, and we're just about to finish this case up. Now when we get it where we want it, we can put in a upper retainer kind of near and put a little bite plate, and the bottom teeth will fit in there. We gotta straighten that out first. Now this is the temporary partial, and here it is in, in uh, the age of 49 half. That's when we started the key. You see where these teeth are in here, and we're going to move it out and have them coming in here. So this guy will have a different facial profile uh, that he has now. He'll bring his cheek, his chin forward, so. Uh, a little bit there. Now this is a panorex that we made. This is the first one and it's 49 and 2 and you can see these teeth leaning over like that and there's no teeth back here and the bottom teeth are down here. I mean the upper teeth come down to the, the, up and the lower ones come up to the height up there. You can tell that about. This was where we took that partial I had a panorex, you know, you had to jump and you cut some out of the center so this looks like it's been cut in two. 
but actually it's the way we made it. And uh, this, you can see the back closure there. And there we are with the bite like it started out. Uh, now here it is. Let me go. We're going to show you where it started and where we finished. Now this we're going to move back here. We bring these teeth down, bring these teeth up, and we move the jaw forward in here. And there it is. After we finish the case, these cuspids are coming down in here. And the bite has about the correct amount. If this chip were in there, that would come right over there where you can bite. And you can chew now from side to side and straight up and down or bite something off in the front. And you level the bite out like this. Now, adults will pay more to do this than working on a child's case. And you can probably learn if you do some of this that you can do these cases just as quick as you can in a child. And you can work on them longer if you need to, if there's something really needs to be done. But this is how we ended up with this guy's case. And there we are, this is 90, and there it was when it was closed. And there it is after we opened it up. Here it is. Uh, close, that's the start, and there we are after we finish the case. And now the wearing the retainer, the guy's really wearing it. You can see that uh, little deal in the roof of the mouth. So he wears it, he doesn't want it to go down the bite, you don't want to let the bite deepen anymore because it will push the lower jaw back some. So that's cleared up, and that's the retainer in the mouth, and this is 1990 when we started, and there the case is after, this is 96, this is after he's been wearing it for quite a while. And there's the teeth, the, the new partial that he's made, and you see we just made a a deal going around behind these teeth to hold them in place. And if he wears this partial, the bite can't deepen. These teeth will stay there, and he can have this thing for the rest of his life if he wants to. And it just makes, see how that holds those teeth right in place. And so we come up with a happy guy. I don't see it. his final picture. But this guy was happy and satisfied and he could chew better with it and it just looks so much better for him. So I hope we can convince you that adult orthodontics can be done and it should be done by university trained orthodontics. Or if you are not a university trained person, and I am not, I had to learn most of this, but I had good teachers that taught me things, and I did everything that came down to it. And you can do that too if you need to. And if you're a, a regular orthodontics, and you're a regular orthodontist, and uh, start doing adult orthodontics. And there's more of it out there that we can ever get done. So I'm going to say goodbye and thank you for watching and I hope you'll tune in to our channels. Uh, and I'm going to close out right now.